Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is March 14th, 2019. It is going to be my outing number 34 of this year. And as a matter of fact, folks, this is my last day down here in Clearwater, Florida. Wow, time certainly passes fast, doesn't it? So I've been treating the wife pretty good for the last two days. As you guys know, this is a family vacation, right? We've been out for lunch and dinner. I took her to see the dolphins. Not that I don't see dolphins all the time, you know. Took her to the aquarium. And I guess what? When I woke up this morning, she just gave me a hug, pat me on the shoulder and said, go full mode. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, you know when your own wife tells you you can go full mode game on that things are about to get real. So the main objective for today, I don't know how many videos this is going to be, right? But I am going to be fishing the whole day and I want to see how many species of fish I can land the entire day, okay? I'm going to keep a list as we catch the different species of fish. I'm gonna get started. I mean, right here, right now is about 7.30 a.m. I'm going to get started here at the Clearwater Pass again, which is a spot that I fished about two videos ago, I believe. But today, I'm fishing, let me show you. I'm fishing the Clearwater Pass right where the Gulf of Mexico goes into the pass, right? So I'm fishing really right at the mouth of the pass okay this is the gulf of mexico right here this is the clear water pass and if you look at the other side that is going to be the back bay i am going to be spending a few hours over here just doing my multi-species fishing this is the same place where i caught that wonderful polka dot bat fish right so i mean you never know what is going to show up right stay tuned it is sunrise right now it should be Folks, I'm sure that you have all realized by now that there is really no secret or when it comes to what I do. I'm going to row with the same technique that I've been using for the past two days. High-low rig. I'm using a one-ounce sinker right now. Two juicy pieces of shrimp. This is going to be my multi-species rod, right? And then I'm going to have the Shimano Tunus CI4 right there, the bait runner. Uh, hopefully baited with cut bait from a small fish that I'm going to catch here that I can take home or if I catch something small enough I'm going to live line it. This is what I've been doing for the past two days and sadly this rod has only gotten one run right which was that uh, stingray that we caught on the first day so that's the game plan let's start laying sun is already up by the time i filmed the intro and set everything it's looking promising all right enough talking it is time to row well that first and foremost let's see how deep and snaggy this area is this is a new place that i'm fishing even though it is the same pass Okay, it is pretty deep. Now we're going to check how snaggy this place is. I'm using a one ounce sinker. Oh my goodness, first cast, fish on. <laughs> what is going to be the first fish of the day? Hopefully not a pink fish, because pink fish have been showing up pretty good around here. Oh wow, what is that? First fish of the day is, whoa, cool. First fish of the day is a leopard sea robin. Remember, same sea robin that we caught on the first day? All right, that's pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't really take photos of that sea robin that day, so I'm putting this in the photo tank. We're gonna take a few shots. For our first fish of the day, this is actually a pretty darn cool species. I think I've talked already to you guys enough about the sea robin and how I enjoy the species of fish, right? How beautiful it is. So let me just release it over here. I got my photo tank. We can do some real neat releases over here today what a wonderful creature of the sea huh a lot of people tend to discriminate against the sea robins well not extreme fillet fishing look at that i actually found a really cool spot today to release the fish you guys can get a full view of all the fishes going down and there's no like going in between the rocks you see what i'm saying all right One cast, one fish. Is this going to be two cast, two, <laughs> two fish? 
hopefully two fishes, yeah, many different species. I wasn't even able to kind of see how snaggy the area is because as soon as I started dragging, the fish bit. So there's definitely some life down there. But yeah, it does look like there are rocks down there. So yeah, pretty snaggy. But this is the area where the fish really holds, right? There may be some ship's head around later in the day too. All right, that's, that's good bottom. I like this kind of bottom, you know? A lot of different species around. Very tiny hits. Oh, there's one. Second fish of the day coming up. It hit so, I mean, it was finicky. It was very finicky. I wonder if this is going to be my cut bait because I haven't gotten cut bait. <gasps> it's a little flounder. Yo, it's a little, it's a little flounder. Oh my goodness. Is this, is this a, this is a summer uh, gold flounder? <gasps> Yo, what is this? Okay, flounders, I don't have a lot of them. I need to check. I need to check a lot of things for this fish. Let's put it in the photo tank. Beautiful little flounder, second species of the day. Mm, second species of the day is actually a pretty tough one for me. Flounders are not that easy to identify as people believe. And this one is too small, you see? I can't take it home with me. Usually people can easily identify the difference between the summer, the southern, and the gulf flounder by the gill rakers, right? But I don't want to pop it open and hurt this little fella, you see? So I'm not gonna do that. All I'm going to say is that this has got a five shaped pattern on its body with a black dot at the back, oscillated. So I'm going to identify it using pattern later. All I know is that this is a little flounder, okay? Anyways, let me release this guy over here. This guy can go, he's being the photo tank, so you guys don't have to worry about. It's being, it's being pretty safe in there. All right, oh yeah, he's good to go. Yeah, look at that. Man, this is beautiful. What a beautiful fish. He's going down there. Oh, all right, disappeared already. It's on. Oh no, I think it's a sheepy. See, I will get one sheepy if it comes up just to add it to the species list for today. Yeah, it's running, it's running pretty good. I think we got a sheepy. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, it's actually a not bad sheepy. So there's sheep's head all out there. Yeah, look at that. There are ships head all the way out there and someone's braided lines out there too because my hook got caught on that. Third species of the day, yeah? Arcosargus probatocephalus, that is the name of the species. And you know, it's called the Arcosargus probatocephalus because this is the fish with the human teeth, yeah? Gee, man, this one showed up just like that. All right, let's release this guy over here. Third species of the day. Yeah, beautiful sheep's head. Beautiful colors under the water too. A lot of people mistaking this fish for the black drum. Just check the teeth, yeah? If it's got teeth, it's the sheep's head. Well, got a hit right away. It's on. Hopefully something different. Please don't be a sheep's head. I mean, I know there's a bunch of ship's head swimming around here. Hey, yeah, 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 is that my, I think that's our cut bait. I think that's finally our cut bait for the day. Just a little pink fish, right? Yeah, usually I am not that happy to see a pink fish, the Lagodon homeboy this. But since I don't have our, my cut bait yet for the Shimano Tunus today, this is finally going to be my cut bait. The species number four for today. Got one. I got something from the hole. I got something from the hole, yo. What is this? What is this? I got something from the hole. Uh, it's a mangrove snapper, yo. All right, it's, a new, it's another species for today. I'm rock punching with a size 18 hook. I thought maybe something new was going to show up. Ah, mangrove snapper. But you know, it gives me hope that there's something else around, right? You folks know extreme fillet fishing. 
I always stand to punch rocks out there because you never know what is leaps among the rocks, right? It is not really deep over here in the rock cracks, but I figure, well, maybe there's something around and guess what? I was right. Size 18 hook, little piece of shrimp. We got ourselves here a mangrove snap it, okay? So let me release this little fellow over here. I mean, I'm just hoping that there's something along the rocks that I have never caught before, right? Because I already have all these snappers on my species list. Wow, that one went fast, all right. Wow, definitely feels like there's a fish here or a lot of grass. I think a lot of grass. I don't think there's a fish here. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Oh, actually there is a fish here on the cut bait. I thought it was just grass, but no, there's something. Okay. Now, what is it? Whoa, bro, what the heck is that? Is that another one of those, uh, it's a ray. Bro. Ah! It's a clear nose escape. <laughs> All the different rays or skates that we could catch. We got a clear nose. What is this? The Haja Eglantaria? Yeah, see, it's got the clear nose right over here. All right, that's pretty cool. Another species, yeah? All the things that we could catch on the cut bait. Look at that, huh? At least the tunus is putting work in. <laughs> Another species for the day. Good old clear nose escape. It's called the clear nose for a reason, yeah? All right, let's release it over here. You guys can ac actually see this beauty is way my way if it lets my gripper go. All right, all right, easy, buddy, easy. Let me flip you. All right, it's flipped. <laughs> Look how it swims beautifully, huh? Very graceful, blends in with the environment real well when it's around sand. All right, that's another species for today, but I already got that one. As soon as it went down there, it's still biting. It's on. Oh no, maybe it's a ship's hat. Oh, maybe not. It's not pulling that hard, but there's definitely a fish on. And it is another species for today, actually. We caught this one the other day already, but today this is the first one. You guys are probably familiar with it, right? This is the sand perch. Yeah, the other day, yeah, right around this tide, the sand perch were actually is swimming around. So there you have it, huh? Man, I don't know what a species of sand perch this is. I'm assuming this is just a regular sand perch and not a dwarf. Although all these sand perch look so alike, so I'm just gonna take a shot, a few shots and identify it later, you know? So, like I said, I really have no clue what sand perch these are. I'm assuming this is just a regular sand perch. I may hit the books later when I get back to Philadelphia. But yeah, I'll take it to be a sand perch for now. As you guys can see, it's a beautiful sample. It's got those rays of blue, right? Truly gorgeous. All right, let's put this guy back. I'm sure that he's ready, ready to go. Man, look at that, huh? That is... It's really fascinating. This fish, oh, all right, it was ready to go. That was 100% a bite. I don't know what fish it is. Like I said, size 18 hook. Something down there is stealing my bait nonstop. I was using size eight and you know, what, oh, you, what, how many of them are down there? This is crazy. This is actually a scraw countfish number four that came up right now. There's like a whole school of them down here. Unbelievable. Yo, if you guys don't have the scraw countfish on your species list yet, let me tell you, this is your opportunity to come here to clear water and catch one for the species list. Cause this is the fourth one that showed up today. No joke. There's like a whole population of them around here for some reason look at that huh all beautiful all about the size eating the bait like real good Oh, 
Oh, that's a hit. It's on. It's on. Look, look, just like that. It's on. I think it is another countfish. If it's not a countfish, it's a sheep's head. I don't know, but I'm telling you, like, there's a whole bunch of them down here, and I, I, I don't understand why. I have, as a matter of fact, I have never seen so many countfish is in one spot. Yo, this is a double up, double up countfish. Oh my goodness, yo, oh, whoa, bros, I, I don't, I don't believe this. Do, do you see? Do you see this? This is a double up countfish. Oh, I can't believe this. Wow. Okay. You see, I am a multi-species angler. So when I feel that there's something odd going on down there, that I'm getting some odd bite or something like that, I know that something's going on. Can you imagine if a regular angler is just fishing out here, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like he has no idea what is going on. This guy's gonna steal all the bait. You know what I'm saying? Your bait just gonna keep disappearing, 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 and you have no clue what is going on. This is crazy, yo. Double up, double release, countfish. Oh man, I hope those countfish are gone. Not that I don't like catching them, but when the countfish are around, you put any bait down there, and it's like gone in a matter in a matter of 20 seconds. Can be like that. I need some other species. Oh, that's that's a hit. Fish on. Oh, I think it's another countfish. Yo. I have never seen this kind of stuff happen before. I mean I go down to Florida, yeah, I see two countfish swimming around. Not like this. See, it's another one, yo. Not like this. This is like, I don't know, the whole school just came over. I don't know if they're spawning or something. Whole school just came over, dominated the area, and nothing else around is biting because you put your bait down there and it was like 20 seconds, the thing disappears. There was a dude fishing right next to me for quite a little while and you know, it's the same thing. He put his shrimp down there and I kept telling him, you know, like, yo bro, 20 seconds, right? Your shrimp is gone. Guy didn't believe, you know, then he reeled it up. Yeah, damn, dude, the shrimp is gone, you know? Because those little clownfish are vicious. I think I'm ready to call it call it a day at this spot. This clownfish are just destroyed it, man. They just destroyed the spot, yo. Yeah, I'm ready to call it a day here. Go somewhere else. All right, folks, it is about 11.30 a.m. And we are at what? Eight different species of fish so far for the morning. This spot was treating me pretty damn good when it comes to the multi-species fishing, you know? I came here, I was laying, I tried different techniques. You guys didn't get to see everything in the video, right? I actually run some yours, I did some rock punching, micro fishing, punched some shrimp out there. Everything was going great until this craw fish decided to come in. The Acantostracion quadricornis. Now, let me tell you a little something. I fished Florida a few times in my life before, not just, you know, this is my first time clear water, but I've been to Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton, right, that area. And when you see this craw fish down there, sure, sometimes you see them, it's like two, three, you know, and that, that's a lot. This scraw cowfish that moved in over here it wasn't no two or three okay i saw it coming it was like a ball of scraw cowfish never seen that happen before i don't know exactly what is going on if they spawn at this time of the year or whatever it is but there's like a ball of them down there you guys saw in this video i was i was doubling up at a certain point and funny story there was one gentleman fishing right next to me from toronto you guys didn't really get to see it in this video. He was punching like whole shrimp in the water all the time. Maybe try to catch some sheep's head. And you know, when these trunk fish slash box fish are around and they get to your bait, 20 seconds, your bait's gone. Their mouth is so small that you really have to use like a size 16 or 18 hook or above to catch them. I felt so bad for the gentleman. I kept telling him like, your bait's gone, you know? He just threw it in, right? And I saw the rod go like, Dun -dun. 
nothing else. I was like, sir, I think her bait's gone, right? And he's like, no, they didn't buy it yet. And then they would, he would reel it in and there's like nothing, you know? <laughs> that is to say that if you were a multi-species angler, you know, kind of know what is going down there. Can you imagine like if you don't know about all the species and you just come over here, right? And you throw, keep throwing your bait down there and they disappear within 20 seconds. You are not even kind of feeling the, the bite. That's got to be like the oddest thing ever, right? But anyways, yeah, I'm done with the spot. Eight species so far. I gotta go get some lunch with the wife now and maybe do some more fishing in the afternoon, all right? Stay tuned. Last day down here in clear water. Let's just lay some more species, yo. Uh-uh, mm-mm. Nah, I'm not gonna get the pliers, man. I ain't gonna mess with these teeth, you know? Once upon a time, my brother-in-law messed with the bluefish without pliers and he paid the price. You know, every fish that has got sharp teeth or like bird beak teeth like this fish right here, I don't I don't mess with them. I don't mess with them. Look at this.